is stressful and chaotic, to say the least, as many of you probably know. Um, filled with major life decisions, uh, we students are often so concerned with what the future holds, we forget to take a minute to breathe and reflect on the past. That's why I believe the senior project is a great opportunity to do just that. And on that note, my name is Erin Shanahan, and I'd like to thank you for coming to my senior presentation. So, community service. Um, growing up, my parents always encouraged me to volunteer with our, within the community, so I was more than prepared when it came to meeting the 40-hour requirement. Uh, I completed majority of my hours through the Page High JROTC and organizations that reached out to them. Uh, this, the JROTC has been such an incredible program for me, so I really enjoyed being able to spend a lot of my, invest a lot of my time within a program that I truly value. Um, I learned through these organizations the importance of service and I, it fostered a lot of personal growth. Uh, and because of this, I definitely see myself continuing to volunteer in the future. So I mentioned JROTC. Um, in eighth grade, I never <coughs> considered JROTC at all. I, when I registering for my classes, I saw it as a regiment, army-oriented class that uh, was very off-putting. So I enrolled with wellness. Um, however, as I became a freshman, I heard more and more stories about students who were really enjoying the program. And while in wellness, we, were, we had um, been working with volleyball for four weeks. And I was very tired of the monotony, so I got up, went to the counselor's office, sat down with Mr. Mahan and said, I need a change. And I transferred to JROTC. It was a very spur of the moment decision. And I'm the type of person who makes Excel spreadsheets when deciding what college to go to. So that was very out of character for me. Um, however, I'm so grateful that I made that decision because through that program, um, I learned how to be a great leader, accountability, responsibility, and most importantly, <coughs> I fostered the most incredible friendships that will last throughout the years. Now for my personal defining moment. Um, growing up, I was what you were, would consider a normal kid. Um, I loved riding my bike, hanging out with friends, playing on our family farm. Um, however, that soon, that eventually uh, changed. Uh, beginning at about 10 years old, I developed mild health issues um, that were easily managed by eliminating two um, food additives, maltodextrin and dextrose. Um, but by mid-February 2017, after drinking a Sprite, of all things, uh, I went into probably the worst reaction of my then 14 years. Uh, the reaction lasted weeks, causing me uh, to lose a total of 10 pounds mm -hmm. and uh, in the span of a month. And I missed a m month of school as well. Um, the, uh, we went from hospital to hospital, from uh, Nashville, Cincinnati, to Boston. And after many tests, we determined that I had been diagnosed with eosinophilic esophagitis, otherwise known as EOD, a rare incurable autoimmune disorder. Now, what does this mean? Well, in short, um, I ha have a 24-7 pain that is what it is, and uh, it gets worse when I eat. Um, so if I could wake up tomorrow and be cured, I would do that in a heartbeat. However, I would never uh, eliminate the challenges that uh, I've overcome this thus far. Uh, these challenges have uh, sparked bigger picture thinking, um, thinking about who I am as a person, who I want to be, and what mark I want to leave on the world. Um, it's taught me that there's a greater strength within myself that um, I never knew I had before. And for that reason, while I wouldn't relatively call it a blessing, to some extent it's made me who I am and the person standing before you today, and I wouldn't change that for the world. So my future aspirations. Uh, next fall, I will be attending the University of Tennessee to study business analytics. For those who do not know, business analytics is the, um, it's the collecting and studying of data to determine what a consumer is going for the uh, consumer's future actions. Businesses use this to um, uh, increase profits, but it can also be used through political campaigns um, to ensure a candidate wins. So I've always loved politics, um, I especially international politics, from Hong Kong's extradition bill to Brexit. Um, I'm always keeping up with the news. So I plan on minoring in political science, maybe potentially double majoring in it, um, so that if down the road, if I ever want to move from the private sector over to the public sector, I'll have experience in doing so. So, on that note, um, I am who I am for a lot of reasons, and I think the, 
the biggest one is the people around me. Um, I want to thank my parents because for standing through me, standing with me through thick and thin, and my friends for um, encouraging to be myself. And uh, finally, I'd also like to thank my teachers, especially Miss Fit, love you, um, for <laughs> um, challenging me to be the best that I can be. Um, I'd like to thank you for attending my senior project and hit me with your questions. <laughs> And so I'd love to get the opportunity to use those language skills abroad. So that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to in the future. In college, are you interested in continuing being part of the, the ROTC program there? Uh, no, I really no. enjoyed ROTC for the community that it fostered, as well as um, the leadership and community that um, community values that they, they build on. But the military is definitely not for me, and so I will be staying clear of that. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So what advice would you give to anyone who is looking at um, graduating early like you are? Um, I would, my, my only advice would probably be, um, well, first off, anyone can do it. That's what I've learned. All it takes is work ethic. So if you, can, if you truly want it and you want to put your mind to it, um, you can do it. And I guess that's what I would want to relay to any student graduating in the future, is that it's possible, it takes hard work, but you can get there. 